Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of March 27th, 2016. A new version of the Jurassic World 3D project by Michael Pierce is now available for download. This interactive program for PC and Mac lets you explore a fully fleshed out recreation of Jurassic World and its many attractions, sites, and landmarks. In this first update since last month's initial release, we're getting a recreation of the original Jurassic Park Visitor Center and Park Gate, now in ruins on Isla Nublar. Other improvements and features have been added as well, including an all-new lighting system that allows you to visit the park at day or night, a new helicopter that flies over Isla Nublar. Follow it to find some of the amazing sights around the island. And now, if you move in close to attractions, you'll hear more about them from the new park announcers. They'll give you fun facts and details as you explore different areas. T-Rex Kingdom, one of our biggest and most popular attractions on the island. Other minor improvements such as better textures and models, plus better looking water, have been added as well. Have fun exploring Jurassic World and stay tuned for new updates in the future. A link to download is in the description below. A new analysis of the prehistoric origin of malaria suggests that it evolved in insects at least 100 million years ago, and the first vertebrate hosts of this disease probably included dinosaurs. Malaria is often thought to be of modern origin, ranging from 15,000 to 8 million years old, but the ancestral forms of this disease used different insect vectors and different malarial strains more than 100 million years ago and may literally have helped shape animal survival and evolution on Earth. Researchers think that insects that carry diseases may have contributed to the widespread extinction of the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. Since dinosaurs declined and slowly became extinct over thousands of years, other issues must also have been at work besides asteroid impacts and lava flows. Different forms of malaria have been at work many millions of years ago and probably had other implications affecting the outcome of vertebrate survival. To stay up to date on dinosaur news, visit DinosaurStop.com. That's all for this week. And until next time, rawr!